I'll show you today how to make two databases communicate with each other using the tnms.para file. So let's start that. Let's check our environment for this. The database name here is board. Let's check for this. This is board one. So let's view our bash profile. That will show you the details about the database. As you can see, Oracle seed is board one. Oracle unit name is board one. The host name is mimo.com. And you see the error form, this is DB2. For this, let's view our bash profile. You see the error code, oh, me, yeah, it's error code underscore bit product 201db1. The unique name is bold and the error code seed is bold. So let's quit this. Let's ping each database to show you. So we embody it. Let's ping board one. And on this, let's ping board. I'll stop this. And on this, let's do the same thing. As you can see, 20 packets transmitted, 20 received, 0 packet loss. And for this, 10 packets transmitted, 10 received, 0 packet loss. So you see the time there. So let's clear this up. And let's clear this up as well. Let's try and TNS ping. TNS ping to show if the data, two databases are communicating. This is a TNS ping board one from here. It says no listener. And let's do that here. TNS ping. The same thing we have here. Yes, yeah, it's TNS12541, no listener. That means the two databases are not the two databases on the server are not communicating. Now we have to edit our TNS that aura file to include both databases on each files. So for this, let's see the So our default location of our network files. So the network slash admin. Let's do an ls there. And let's vi into our TNS name. That's our file. Now we have this here. You can see our host name, the port. And we said for this, the database name is board. So what we'll do here is let's edit, edit this file to include that of board one. And let's paste this. And we edit this now. Our service name. For board one will be board one dot com. The host name is the same thing. 
for the four. This is 1532 for this. And remember, this is for bold one. This is for bold one. And the fourth name, fourth number, I mean, is 1522. So we have that of bold up here, and we have that of bold one. So let's quit this and save. Let's come here, let's see the two. The location of our, of our network files of the Oracle underscore home. Network slash admin. Is it an LS? Let's VI into our TNS name. Just our file. See, we have that of bold one here, so we do the same thing. Let's paste this and we edit these as well. And this is for bold, right? 1521. Yeah, everything looks okay. Yeah. Let's save this. Now you still have to edit. Let's do if let's clear this up. And let's do if config to get our IP address. This is you can see one nine two one six eight dot one dot five. Let's come here, let's clear this as well and do an if config. This 192.168.1.6. Okay, let's clear this. 65. Let's clear this up. Now let's execute the root to edit our host file. Now you have to include both IP addresses on each server so, so far. So to one nine two or one six eight dot one dot six. The host name is the same thing for both. That's the fully qualified domain name. Okay, let's save this and quit. Let's come here, we'll do the same thing. We have to as root. And VI to our host file. We edit this as well. Fully for qualified domain name. Now let's save this and quit. Now let's let you change users to Oracle. Let's clear this up. Come here, we do the same thing. Let's change user as Oracle. Let's clear this up. Now let's see to the default location of our network files. We'll do the same thing here. Let's TNS ping 
this is for board let's turn it in board one see what happens let's turn this thing board on this now okay Let's start our list now. Okay. Now let's do the same thing. Board one. Now let's tear this thing. This is listener supports and service. Okay, let's do this. Then to register set. Okay, let's do this for listener. The number is one five two one. Let's go to both. This is to register our listener service system so that's the rest of our host. Now our listener is up for both database. You can see the board and the board one. So now let's TNS in board first. It says OK. Now let's TNS thing board one. Remember, we are on database, we are on the server for the database board. This destination list was unreachable. Let's come here. Let's check our listener status here. For board one. As one thing we have in service. Okay, log into the database. Let's do TNS ping board. To see I said TNS not listener. So let's start up the listener here. Let's 
stable. Just me some listen on me. It's board one, not board. Now we have a listener up here. So let's do TNS thing. Board one. So you can see it says what well, okay. You send as adapter to resolve this. Let's try TNS ping. We've tried we did out of board and it said oh um, let me show you that real quick. Missing listener name board in listener the power file. So we're using the TNS because we want to connect the other database using the TNS name and not the listener. Let's try this one more time. You see this what for board? Oh, listen now. Now we are on board. Let's do TNS ping board. Destination host on reachable. So in this case, you log in to your database. Says DDA. I hope I have the resources to run the two databases, but I doubt that. But if you follow what I did here, you can.